Well, good morning. Welcome back to 3 News First Edition. Last 48 hours are pretty active. In fact, we saw about two inches and a quarter at the airport in Corpus Christi. A little bit more out west in Alice along 281, but now we're setting up a very dry, hot, and humid weather pattern going forward for the next six to seven days. Okay, so here's a marine forecast. If you're planning on heading to the beach, to the waters, doing some fishing this morning. Temperatures in the water in the Gulf of Mexico and the bay are in the lower 80s. High tide. Not until this afternoon around lunchtime, 1230 or so. Low tide in the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. Three foot waves at an eight second period. So for the most part, light conditions on the bay. I do think winds stay just below 15 miles per hour later on this afternoon. So for the most part, a pretty quiet and stagnant day weather wise. OK, 71 degrees currently on the thermometer. Dew points pretty humid. Northeast winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And you'll notice by the wind speeds for the next uh, eight hours, give or take, are about 10 to 15 miles per hour, if anything. And then we'll start to see more sunshine as we wrap up the weekend. Temperatures top out upper 80s and lower 90s. Meanwhile, temperatures in the upper 60s out to our north and west, 67 in Beeville, a little bit more warmer in Mathis at 69, 74 in Kingsville. Not getting a reading out of Foul Furious, but I guarantee you, they are in the lower to mid 70s. Northeast winds 5 to 10, calm in Kingsville, in addition to Orange Grove. A uh, full scan on radar and not a whole lot going on. The green you're seeing is just ground clutter, so do not worry about that in and around Corpus Christi. The closest rain is out across northeast Texas, closer to Houston, and uh, they are currently on the back side of this upper level system that is uh, slowly moving to the northeast, closer to Tennessee and Kentucky. And we'll start to be a problem over there, but we're on the back side of the system, so a lot of drier air is going to filter in. And you can see that on water vapor. This is what I call the X-ray of the atmosphere. And what's indicating by those tan shades is not dust. It's just mid to upper level dry air. So that is slowly moving in our direction from Mexico. And that's going to lead to a pretty dry forecast for the next six to seven days. Okay, Futurecast paints a few pop-up isolated showers mainly to our south, so you do not have to worry about that. And for the most part, by about lunchtime, we're looking at mostly sunny skies. Temperatures rebound, upper 80s and low 90s here in the city. Much warmer temperatures out to our west and southwest. Kingsville and Foul Furious uh, could expect the mid-90s. Okay, so uh, some big uh, news weather-wise. Out to our east, along the east coast of Florida, the Carolinas, Tropical storm Arthur formed last night around 6, 7 o'clock. Now, this is the first storm of the season, hurricane season, but it's actually a little early. In fact, this is the sixth year in a row we've seen a storm form prior to the start of hurricane season. Now, we do not have to worry about this. This will stay east and uh, just kind of stay along the outer banks of the Carolinas and then move over the open waters of the Gulf. Okay, Ohio near 87 with a lot of sunshine for your Sunday. Things stay that way for the next seven days. High temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s through Thursday and next weekend. Marissa. Thanks, Ryan. I'm a happy camper when we can keep it below 90 and low humidity if you can make that happen. <laughs>